What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? Guys, I want to take you through a lot of developments that have been happening over the last 48 hours for Luna Classic. Some of them good, some of them bad, some of them indifferent. I'm going to leave it for you to determine whether or not you think that each one of these is a good thing or a bad thing. And then, you know, decide for yourself what uh, you believe is the answer, if you will. So uh, before I get started, please make sure that if you like this type of content that you hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content. And uh, let's break it down. First of all, uh, we've got Frag Were Dig uh, at Frag Dude. Hey, Lunk, presenting a CW20 implementation with source tax extension is the first workable solution, uh, but it's a work in progress. This is on GitHub right now. This is going to allow uh, the, the purpose here. Uh, and you can read through this. This is um, uh, this is the um, th this is in order to do taxes, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this is an implementation to allow you to build on um, uh, this network. So, uh, it should be again, work in progress, but, uh, it's not audited. Uh, so use at your own risk. This is not to get new people in. This is to get people testing right now, but there is a solution, uh, at, at work here. So, and, and you can go down here and you can read this at frag underscore dude to go see what that means. And we'll probably revisit that in a little bit. Uh, Mr. Baboon, uh, post that the genuine labs proposal has been rejected. The team may need to regroup, potentially submitting a new proposal for V.47 or finding a middle ground with validators. Let's hope for a swift resolution. Uh, let's remember one of the things that um, uh, that we've established here. Um, the validators cannot be trusted anymore. Uh, they've been crooked. And, you know, these are the guys that are stopping your progress. These are the guys that are telling you uh, and, and preventing the, the community from growing right now. These guys that you've given your delegations to are the guys that are stopping progress. So uh, I would suggest that you go look at who voted for what and anybody who voted to uh, stop progress, you might want to reconsider who you're validating with. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you to at least consider it, or I'm asking you anyway to at least consider it. But that's um, uh, pretty, to me, it feels a little bit uh, nefarious. And, and by the way, here we get, uh, isn't tax to gas more pressing issue? Everything is a pressing issue. What does that have to do with anything? The you know, point is, if there's an upgrade, if there's a potential solution to improve the system, why are we not improving it? Because tax to gas is more pressing. Um, well, we don't have, there's no There's no centralized, you guys decided you don't want to. So when, when somebody like Rocket Lunk here says, it, there is a more pressing issue, sure, uh, but you voted against keeping the team. So there is nobody working on it unless somebody picks it up and does it. That's what decentralized means. We don't have anybody picking up the ball anymore. We don't have a team because we didn't want to fund the team. So you you get what you pay for, and we don't pay for anything. So ta-da, this is what's available. So it, it, that's not a question. Uh, also, uh, just so you guys have, this is the big one, uh, JL1TF disbandment. Uh, JL1TF, which was established originally by Ed Kim. This is the original uh, L1TF. Uh, was established by engineers from various corners in Lunk with the mission of maintaining the chain source code. Most of its members have left due to various reasons. Uh, as such, the JL1TF can no longer perform its mission and will be disbanded. Uh, all repositories in GitHub are property of the Terra Classic community. Therefore, all changes shall be approved by community gov until another party is gov appointed to manage the Terra Classic GitHub organization. As the remaining member of JL1TF, the only person remaining, by the way, I will remain only to transfer admin rights to selected party. Uh, in my opinion, Genuine Lab should be selected to continue managing the classic code base uh, thanks to recent proven works and the enthusiasm. With recent upgrade proposals for Cosmos SDK 0.50.x, the team deserves a fair opportunity to demonstrate their capabilities by competing, uh, completing, destroying, and maintaining. Uh, and, you know, now people are asking, well, why do people leave? Well, because you don't work for free. People don't work for free. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it, it's, 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 in, it's insanity here that, that here we are. I'll just say this. Here we are. Uh, so anyway, this was then reported over at CoinGape. Uh, and, and, you know, they basically just kind of announced that uh, this is what's going on. And, you know, you can read this again at your leisure uh, and check it out um, uh, and and make a decision on, on what you think is best and then vote for it, you know. Uh, but anyway, so the uh, now where there's some more opportunity. Um, so go to uh, the, the, the Commonwealth and, you know, kind of flip through here and see if there's anything out here. 
uh, that you want to consider. Uh, TerraSwap is broken. You know, we could really use something like that to, to work like it, you know, in this ecosystem, it's important to have things that work. So let's move on to price action. As you can see from the price, uh, there's been kind of a, a sideways sort of move here. Uh, we got this big move up that we kind of retraced a little bit. We had a nice little sweep over here, came back down, did a retest over here. These are days, by the way, uh, but we haven't on this upward momentum here. We started to, to move back to the downside. So now the question is, how far down do we come? Most likely, by the way, uh, that move is going to continue along this trend line, right? So uh, you most likely play out is going to be right here, coming down to 14 before moving on. Now, uh, it could also be that this represents a consolidation period. This is a larger time frame. If we go to the uh, one hour time frame, it looks a little bit different. So uh, it, it could be that uh, we're not even getting close to it. And we're just looking at this bounce right here off the 50. Now, I don't like that wick on top of the 50 and the 20 on this crossover. Um, if you guys right now, this moment, this is the time to increase your crypto portfolio. You're probably not going to want to cash out for at least another year. You're probably not going to want to cash out at least for nine months. The top of this market is not coming for another year and a half, 18 months, maybe even two years. In that period of time, what you want to do is have as much of your crypto as you possibly can. And that's where cryptonomy.finance comes in. That's where you stake in order to earn more yield. Take these fixed rates over here, grab your favorite crypto. I'm going to go in on a little bit of shit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to convert this over to Bitcoin. I'm going to use 0.2 Bitcoin, and I'm going to do this for 12 months. I'm going to earn 100% more SHIB than I currently have. That's all it took for me to make this happen. Now, the big money, the big money is not from the fixed. The way that you get more is right here. It's all of these launches. This launch pool right here, this is the place to make a lot of money. So go check out Cryptonomy.finance today. Tell them Believe sent you grant me here it looked like we had some momentum with these little wicks down here at the bottom but then we got this big wick right here on the top bringing the price back down so it looks like we're starting to get a little bit of bearish pressure and we're in a downward trajectory so if this doesn't bounce and, and bounce on this hour then it probably breaks down and if it breaks down then it means we're going to come down here and test 1600 now on a larger time frame on a larger time frame, you could, again, there's about 1700 on this one, but, you know, we're, we're looking at each one of these uh, time frames and, and looking for, you know, where's the bounce coming? And, you know, the daily is the worst when it comes down to it, uh, because what you would like to see is, is you would like to see a little bit more, you know, uh, a little bit more um, uh, short time um, pump motivated that'll keep it moving in the upward direction and allow this thing to create some momentum on the longer time frames. Uh, but it, at the end, it's just a matter of new investors stepping in. Uh, USTC, kind of the same thing, except uh, it's looking a little bit more bullish because it's still minting sort of up in this range. It bounced off of the 20 real hard. Now, we haven't had any movement after bouncing, but we did bounce. So when you look at the lower time frame, uh, again, you know, it looks like the it's kind of the same thing. Now, here's the problem. The problem is it's all trending under the moving averages. That's not a great sign. So it, it could reject its way down. And it, to be fair here, if it rejects back down, then we have to consider hitting the 200. And I'm going to show you where the 200 is real quick. And we're on the 200 right now. So that's what we're using as support instead of the 100 right now. So, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens here. But... Uh, I'm, I'm not real bullish on anything until we get some, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, until we really get some information about a repeg. I mean, you know, we're listless and we're kind of flying without a rudder. So, and, and, you know, most people don't want to hear that, but that is the, the nature of it. Uh, and then down here on governance, there are no proposals up currently, right? All we know uh, is what was rejected and what, you know, should have been, uh, probably should have been passed, but didn't get passed, you know. Uh, we've got all these different proposals out here. And uh, so, yeah, uh, that's where we are. And trade volume. So we're up to a billion market cap, which is good. You know, once you get a billion market cap, it's easy to get to two and three and four. Uh, it's easier uh, because you're on the radar, if you will. Uh, but the 24-hour volume is down about 50%. And then on USTC, it's down about 60%. Uh, but the market cap is still pretty consistent around 329, 330 million. So, uh, you know, we'll see how that kind of uh, ranges over the next little while. Uh, but guys, I mean, this is, you know, here, here we are. Um, 
the the J O one TF is gone. Um, we, we've got some upgrades, but some of the upgrades were rejected. Genuine Labs is the preferred vendor, but the validators are still trying to prevent progress on this chain, and you're allowing them to continue doing it by continuing to stake. I would recommend if you are somebody who's staking with them, uh, change your stake to somebody who votes for progress. Uh, and, and if you don't like it, that's fine. That's that's fine. That's that's up to you. Um, but but if you if you don't like what's going on right now, then then change it. That's how you change it uh, by by voting uh, by by moving your delegation to somebody and and depowering their abilities and just continue to do that until you find the right voter. Uh, for you. So, you know, c continue to do that, if you will. And, you know, this chain will grow and it'll, it'll continue to, to to move. But it takes you putting in the effort. So anyway, um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's not financial advice. My name is Bleeds. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll talk to you again very, very